right guys, so it's that time again, GXCC round number two. So we're out at the next farm, but Vion, let's just review farm number one, race number one. How'd it go from your side? Uh, it was a good race. So, hey, the feedback that we're getting uh, is awesome. Everybody's talking about what a nice flowing route it was. Uh, and uh, obviously a lot of twists and turns. Right at the beginning, we said we might as well call it the twisty one, which we did. And uh, yeah, but great feedback. Everybody loved it. So uh, there we worked with a farm that was uh, 611 hectares in size. Uh, it was a little bit on the tight side to, to actually get long straights, um, but we managed to fit the distance in there. Now we are in uh, Fochville and we've got a much bigger farm, going from 611 hectares to 2,500 hectares. So uh, it's a big area to cover and uh, we'll be able to keep two separate loops for the guys so there will be a junior loop completely separate from the, the quad and the senior loop. When we drove in this morning as well, I saw, again, we've got like a big access vein uh, mm. that basically goes through. It's a, it's a public road as well, yes. but at least it's a, a nice little separator. So juniors stay on this side, working yes. all the way up to the, looks like some mine dumps at the back there. Yes. And then the rest of the farm goes a gazillion miles that way. Very far, <laughs> way over the horizon. Yes, uh, it's kilometers and kilometers of, of uh, land that we can work with keeping the juniors this side and we'll take the seniors on the other side of the road. We're here quite a long time before round number two, but obviously weather's gonna play a little bit of a part, but historically Fockville has always been quite consistent. Quite hard pack, grassy, couple of rocks come out, standard option Fockville. That's it, yeah. Unfortunately, uh, you know, rocks is gonna be a, a problem. Uh, if, if we uh, just leave everything and just slash it, then, then yes, you're gonna find a, a rock and even a small little anthill here and there. So we'll do a lot of work to make sure that we clear the route out. Um, you know, on the last uh, race on GXCC1, we actually had to do a lot of slashing to create paths. Yeah, we have paths that we can work with. We'll cut some new ones, but uh, when you stick to the main paths and, and just clear them out, it'll be a nice, safe, safe race. And you came out here about, what, a week ago and you were hanging out with Armand and he took you to some of the areas. But so what are we looking at today and what are we expecting to find? Yeah, so, I mean, uh, like I said, on this side, um, nothing much is happening here. Um, it's just grazing area for, for cattle. Um, on the other side of the main road, we have a lot of uh, farming going on with mealies and soyas. Uh, so there we'll find a lot more faster flat out sections. Obviously we're going to try and, and limit it so that we can get the guys to do a, a, a couple of turns in between those lands and fields. So um, hard pack definitely, a couple of rocks, uh, not a lot of loose uh, soil. Um, one or two little surprises there with uh, a river crossing that we'll work in. Not a river crossing but a little ravine. Uh, that uh, can give a bit of mud, but nothing serious. It'll be a nice fast, uh, fast race this one. All right, so me and Vian are going to wobble out there and uh, see what holds. It's a freezing cold day out here. Hopefully it isn't this cold uh, when you guys go racing in a couple of weeks time. We'll be back in a few and tell you how the ground is feeling. After a little recce around what is an absolutely massively impressive farm, Vian, it looks like it's going to be a crazy one. For my side, it looks like a very tough day at the office for the juniors and a very cool day for the seniors. That's pretty much the summary for me. Well, the initial thoughts, yes, you would yeah. think so because uh, the terrain is obviously not 100% uh, slashed and cleaned yet. So uh, for the juniors, it might look like it's going to be very bumpy. Um, we're actually going to do a lot of work to, to get it smoother but we want to keep them on that side of the road and not bring them over to this side of the farm. Um, yeah, for the seniors, obviously uh, coming through that first part, uh, again, lots of turns and bumpy maybe a bit, a bit uh, lots of turns. And then when we're going out to the larger part of the farm, there's going to be wide open, open pinning areas there. Uh, I know some guys have asked for it, um, so we'll give them uh, a bit of both. And of course, as we cross the road as well, slightly different terrain, more loamy in the lowlands, and then heading up to the far end of the track where you're skirting some of the fields. And it's a little bit more of an old school style. Yes, yes. And obviously, 
Uh, this part of the track and, and the further on, uh, the, the type of terrain doesn't have that many rocks and, and bumps in it. So yes, like you say, loamy sand in, in some of the sections, even a little bit of clay ground uh, in the lowlands here. But uh, it's going to be a nice, easy, uh, rideable terrain for the, for the seniors at least. Doesn't look like they're going to be hard on the brakes or not as hard as they were at round number one at least. Well, not, not that many times. Not as many, yeah, not as many. <laughs> but uh, the, they'll be hard on the gas for, for sections and then hard braking, turning. So yes, uh, again, there will be a lot of hard braking, but uh, not as windy, windy as uh, round one. So Vian and the team have been out on the farm now for a week, getting all the GPSs in. The crew are starting to put everything together. Three week program, we're looking good. Yeah, yeah, we uh, decided because the first round, obviously smaller terrain, uh, easier to get everywhere and do the, the work. Now we've got a much bigger area to cover, so uh, we came out here a week earlier so that we can start prepping the track. Uh, what, we two, two and a half weeks away from, uh, from the race day, so yeah, all good. We'll see you guys on the line. Can't wait to deliver what is going to be another epic GXCC. See you guys out there.